Greetings from Austin, Texas. I know, or like somewhere new every other day. Who wants us next? Everything's bigger in Texas. At mom's. All of our family and friends live in pretty much cool places. We're just gonna take a little bit of a tour. We are going to be here in Texas for a couple weeks. And actually we are going to Mississippi. What? His brother is in pre-med school and we're driving there tomorrow. Add that to the list of all the random places we're gonna be going while we are in recovery. I'll take you outside. So we have some questions um, that need to be answered. Yes. Uh, we felt like it was a good time to do it. We have a little downtime. He has another appointment with a surgeon in a couple weeks. So we are going to kind of fill you in a little bit. A lot of you have been asking us what the hell is going on with our life. And honestly, we don't really know, but <laughs> we'll tell you as much as we can. What we're thinking and where we're headed. We. Uh... Don't really have any plans. We're just still trying to heal up. We have ideas. We have a vision. Not Let's... really. We just have ideas. <laughs> Let's get into some questions. Question number one. So my recovery is going. The surgery went well. They were able to reattach both of my tendons properly, but I'm in this splint. It's going to take, I don't know, it's supposed to take 12 weeks for it to fully heal back to full strength so then I can start doing heavier activities. However, I did go to the physical therapist and they said I do have pretty good range of motion already for how hard the surgery was. My tendons were re retracted super far and the surgeon had a really hard time like actually being able to pull them back together. Doing the best we can and doing what we can and I'm doing my exercises as far as what I can do but I can't really start doing anything at least for another month and then slowly work my way into, for the next six weeks, back into full, full handling the boat. Yeah, it's gonna be a long road. We have insurance. We decided to do insurance just in our home state of California. It just made the most sense to us at the time. So we do have to do things like surgery and annual appointments in California. Do you have evacuation insurance in case of a significant medical issue? So, <laughs> yes. short answer, yes. We do have medevac insurance. I think this question came up because someone was wondering what we would have done if we were at sea and this happened. It's Dan Boder um, is the medevac insurance and we renew it every year. And yes, that is there is an emergency line that I could have called. We were at sea like two days offshore or something and we needed to evacuate the boat for some reason. We highly recommend it. It's not expensive. I think it's a hundred dollars every time I renew it per year and it's of course totally worth it. I'm gonna address this now. <laughs> when will you be starting your OnlyFans? No. <laughs> and the short and sweet answer to that is never. Never. It blew my mind it... how many people took that seriously. Yeah. It was a very very apparent joke but not so apparent People when still you keep asking us. Not so apparent to those who exist on the internet sometimes. I yeah. don't know. We had a couple jobs. One promising one in the Bahamas, um, overseeing a hotel. And that one fell through. We just couldn't agree on compensation and numbers um, for what we'd be doing. We were pretty much on call working 24-7, so it was a very strenuous job and we just couldn't come to agreements, which is fine. And so we are currently looking in the market still. We don't know exactly where. There might be some opportunities in the Caribbean, in St. Martin, or California, and or Texas, where we are now. It's on the list, potential options for sure, because if we do find a job somewhere else, we are seriously considering selling it. It is a fantastic boat, and it's been amazing for us. I don't see it being the boat for us to travel around the world in. We would like something with a little more room. The answer to that question is we are eventually going to sell the boat. I don't know when. I mean, yes, that's a huge goal of ours one day is to sail across the Pacific, sail the South Pacific. But like Tanner says, before we do a big ocean crossing, 
um, or an ocean crossing at all, we probably will be on a different boat. And considering we are currently dealing with the you know, injury and needing to kind of get back on our feet financially, we figured this might be the opportune time to take care of things and save money and get um, some jobs where we can then afford a larger boat and then yeah. hopefully cross the Pacific because yes, we'd love nothing more than to do that. To just touch on that further, yeah, with this and me being out for three months and I'm currently only two weeks into it, that does pose the question of why we're both selling the boats on the list with this surgery bill. That's gonna put us in a huge hole. So selling the boat, being able to pay the, the medical expenses and then being able to find jobs and put away a decent chunk of money is mm -hmm. probably what's in our near future. Mm -hmm. If we do decide we want to have kids and if we do decide we want to get a bigger boat, we're probably gonna have to look at stowing away some money, so. Yes, to then ex expand our family and move on to a boat that um, would fit a family, not just the two And or visitors, like we'd love yeah. to have visitors. We'd yeah. love to have you guys patron, you guys are patrons or come see us and have a comfortable place to stay like while they're with us. And yes. like right now it's like, we're already camping. No chance yeah. in throwing visitors or a kid in that equation. Yeah. So we want something that's a little more spacious and we'll be able to accommodate more people and be an actual like comfortable and wonderful experience for whether future patrons or friends and family or a baby. Although we are pretty new to the cruising community in the grand scheme of things, only being in it for about almost two years, we still, you meet people, it's like fast and hard. You get to know people so deeply and so quickly that yeah, the pain of lo like leaving people um, that you've connected with actually is really hard. It's harder than um, just an everyday kind of relationship on, I guess, on land because yeah. Like I said, you just, you connect really deeply. But it's really fun to like, I mean, we just island hop and then someone else island hops and then you like, they might island hop like three islands and then you'll meet up like, I don't know. Yeah, it's like catch you later. Or you just travel with people. Like some people we will travel with for several islands. Or, or almost with. all year. It's awesome, like any friends. Yes, and you'll have friends all over the world, which is awesome. Snap of your fingers. Where would I go? I'd probably say the South Pacific. But I would say to you. I mean, as much as I want to experience crossing the Pacific, if I could avoid just sitting at sea for 30 days, yeah. I would. I'm the not Pacific above that. Pacific sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hard one. Did not prepare for any of this. I, I mean, if I had the knowledge and experience of what I know now, I would probably have waited a little bit longer and saved up some more money um, and bought a bigger boat or a catamaran. Spend our money more wisely mm -hmm. because we didn't really spend our money very wisely in the beginning because we had no idea. Mm -hmm. So we blew through a bunch of money. Hindsight's 2020. Yeah. But I would have saved more money, bought a bigger boat and spent my money a lot more wisely I value convenience and just things that just make your life easier so that you can enjoy and do have more time for other things. And we, for some reason, didn't do any of that with this boat. We really just like roughed it. Everything became a chore. No matter how tight your budget is, simplifying your life on a boat will be worth it yeah. tenfold. <laughs> The end of the day we have to do what's best for us and what we want to do and what we see our future looking like and where we're headed in our lives and whether it's on or off youtube or just working for a bigger boat we're not giving up on this lifestyle like this is what we want to do and we want to travel the world and we want to continue this journey and adventure and we're not giving up on that we would love to continue to make these videos and document our experience whether you enjoy watching them or not. I mean, we enjoy having these videos to look back to. Yes. Um, and just to reflect on, um, and 20 years down the road, they're gonna be an amazing experience for us. And I really, really, really enjoy that you all enjoy it as well, and that you're following along. And it makes us really happy that there's people out there that are inspired by what we're doing. And our journey may not be the most linear journey, it's not. 
and we might stop and work and get a bigger boat or whatever the situation may be and get back out there but we want to keep doing this and we love this life and, and love travel and adventure and each other. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, comment below. We love you. We appreciate you. And thanks for being here along for this crazy ride we have going on right now. So see you next week.